Hey guys, this is like the third episode of a podcast that I do not have, but I'm just calling them that. Talk about anything. Ask me anything. You're getting married. I'm getting married. How does it feel to be getting married young? Amazing, but it also kind of sucks when you have like negative people being like, oh, you're so young. Like, you don't need to be worrying about that right now. Like, you know, those kind of comments and everything like that. So I say that's like the only part where it's like, it's, it's hard. But and you feel like a lot of people have been like that? Some people, yeah, but I think more people now that like when they're around us then they understand, you know But it's more of like the oh go party go do this like live your life And it's like but that's the person that I want to like live my do life that with, stuff with yeah. you know So where I used to care what people thought about it and now I'm just like I don't even care what you think about it because that's my best friend and yeah. You know, I'm not gonna like please everybody I'm constantly worrying about what people thought of me and like my relationship and stuff and so for so long, I just felt like I literally could feel it like affecting my health. And then I got to a point where I was like, okay, I cannot do this anymore. Mm -hmm. People will always have something to say. No matter yeah. what you do, people will always have something to say, whether it's yeah. good or bad. That was so hard because I'm I'm a people pleaser. Like I need to make sure everyone's healthy or happy with what I'm doing and that everyone approves of what I'm doing. And I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah, you don't. I don't need it like that. It's hard to not be a people pleaser. I don't know, I feel like I have a lot of um, like experience when it comes to like my relationship with him and maybe like we were saying in the car like i'm just like old school but mm -hmm. i'm feel like now the dating scene is like oh everyone's just dating just to date a couple months before i met him i like three months before i think i remember just being like i'm so done with and the moment that i was just like okay god just like i'm just gonna stop dating and you whoever you have for me like we'll just will come in mm -hmm. and then three months later Cool, yeah. And I was like, okay, that was a sign, I know for sure. Like, I'm very emotional and my heart's like always in it. Same. We went to therapy for like four months. We had to learn basically how to like communicate all over again. Because not a lot of people realize this, but the trauma and like the toxic traits that you have as an adult is stuff that you have or like learned as like a, a child. child. Toxic in our relationship were things that I learned from my parents. And you know, and things that I learned from other people. I literally had to like forget what I learned. And, relearn and start it. over we both were like we need to figure this out and if this is something that we want then we have to like basically get our crap together yeah you know so we like went to therapy and like everything got so much better after that and i feel like our relationship is like the healthiest it's ever been okay but can we talk about the fact that like vanessa hudgens and austin butler were together for like 10 years i saw this video and it was like it's funny how it's always the couples who are with someone dating someone for like 10 years and then they get out of the relationship and then they get engaged like the next year no, to somebody it else. It's almost like the thing you leave for, you yeah. wanted the next relationship, which is crazy. To yeah. Me. And then it's like, oh, like this person gave me in 10 months what you couldn't give me in 10 years. I'm like, I hate when I hear that. But you should know your self worth at that point. Yeah. And it's I know like, they were wait, young, but yeah. still like 10 years. Yeah. That's oh, basically Austin Butler is now engaged and he's been with this girl for two months. No, two years. Feels like it. Two months, I don't Kaya, know. I think he's been with her for like barely a year. Barely a year. So yeah. it's like a guy always knows if he's gonna marry a girl in like the first one, yeah. three months. Yes. Like that is yes. so true. You're gonna do anything for the person you wanna be with. Like yeah. you could literally not want to ever get married, but when that right person comes in, you're gonna wanna get married. You might never want kids. When that right person comes, you'll have kids. Yeah. yeah. Well, like Koa, he, when he got divorced, he was like, I'm do not gonna marry again. Koa's divorced? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't care. Yeah. Okay. I, it's like an open thing. When he got divorced, he was like, I'm never going to marry anyone ever again. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just not going to get married, like, like, ever. And then when he met me a couple months after his divorce, he was like, okay, like, now, like, it's happening instead again. of, like, yeah. 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 Like, were you ever scared to ask him, like, do you want to get married again? Kind of, because right? I knew that my goal was always marriage with mm -hmm. whoever I ended up with. I was like, okay, that's going to be the goal. And so when I, like, fell for him, I was really scared that he was, like, gonna be like oh no i don't want to get married because then i was like dang like i love this kid he doesn't want to get married right now but i think just like me understanding where he was coming from his divorce like but it took five months until april our podcast is gonna pause we gotta go to the store but we're back and we moved closer because we just feel like you guys weren't gonna hear us properly oh uh, we ended up going to the store real quick to buy some stuff and i need good coffee so can i drink this in here yeah I was like, man, after I shook it, it just opens. <laughs> it like, Are what? You, the asking if somebody would get remarried. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> I was definitely not talking about that. 
asking somebody. <laughs> You can't hear it now. No, I know I can't hear it. That was married if they would get married again. And you said you were like scared to ask. Yeah, I was scared to ask because I knew the trauma that he like went through during that marriage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, like maybe like I shouldn't. But I think for me, like I had to like realize that like I had to be like there for him more, mm -hmm. you know, and be like, okay, I can't be thinking about what i'm wanting right now because he's going through this whole entire process that was really sucky because i think he sent the papers like four times and they came back all denied yeah i had to kind of put like my wants what aside. you want inside tell yeah them. and like be there for him and through that he saw like how faithful i was to him you know during that time and how i could have easily just been like a bounce yeah, yeah like no i'm out i know marriage is not for everyone mm -hmm. but like to me it's like like i think I, I want marriage more than i want kids like it's just yeah. i feel like you don't love me enough if you don't want to marry yeah me. a lot of people are like oh well here's a piece of paper it's like no it's no. only a piece of paper if you make it just yeah. a piece of paper like Every, I mean, I know like some people like grew up differently, so their view mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. And like, I never want to get married again, which was kind of like what you said the code mm -hmm. was at the beginning. Once you meet that girl or you meet that guy, you know, you know yeah. that you'll be willing to get married again. Yeah. Like I've always wanted that, but I just never found anyone to. And I think I've had like the privilege to be able to still have my parents together. You mm -hmm. know, like everyone or a lot in my family too like especially my dad's side like there's not a lot of people that are still together you know i think that's the same way for my family and too. yeah and so it like no for sure my parents are still together they've been together for like over 40 years i don't know it's oh, been a long time. no yeah and like i think they're kind of like one of the only people really close to me that like are still together mm -hmm. like i love them you know like mm -hmm. not just because they're my parents but like their relationship i'm like i want that you yeah. know and like yeah. you really look for somebody who's gonna have the same values i feel like people are always like you look for someone who's like your dad and i feel like yeah. Your dad and co yeah. are so alike, I and I feel like whenever I like talk to guys, I like like when they're a little like my dad, like yeah. more in, like the respectful way. Like you know, yeah. your dad treats you the best. Like yeah. he's like the guy who's never yeah. gonna hurt you. Yeah, exactly. So it's like when you meet a guy, you want them to be that way mm -hmm. and have like those same kind of values. You yeah. know, I see the way my dad treats us. I see the way my dad treats my mom, and it's like it gives me such like a higher standard of not putting up with BS. Exactly. So how important to you is marriage? I think for a long time it was like the number one like most important thing ever and it still is but i think i put marriage at like a very high pedestal in my life where i was mm -hmm. like if i'm not if i don't get married i'm gonna be a failure and i just and i had like this like goal for me that like yes it was a goal that i wanted but it was just like all i thought about. i was like always in the back of my mm -hmm. mind Coast family is like no one really is together a lot of them are from divorces or breakups and stuff mm -hmm. like that and their view on marriage is not really there. Like, it's kind of like, oh, you don't have to. Yeah. But do you think that also, like, makes him want it more? Because I know people who are, like, kid of divorce. And they're just thriving and yeah. trying so hard to find love. I think love there's to, two I people. There's, yes, there's very two yeah. people. Like, two people come out of it. It's, like, someone who wants to, mar to get married and be better. And someone who's just, like, completely, like, does not, does not want anything to do with care it. for it. And doesn't want yeah. anything to do with it. And so, I think, too, like, it, it's kind of been cool because the more that him and i started having a healthy relationship and we're talking about marriage and like she's now engaged and you know the brother is now engaged too and it's kind of like i you guys like influence them yeah I never try to like flaunt our relationship but i think it's like it's you don't cool need to, to see, flaunt to yeah. see how happy they are yeah you know? and it's us being better for each other and us Helps being healthy around. like it it shows to everyone and it's like possible. for the record like we weren't you know we were all always like that mm -hmm. like we had you know every relationship goes through stuff like that and luckily we've been able to go through some pretty hard things early on to kind of like prepare us for things that we may face you know in the future and very grateful that we've been ha like had a little bit of practice you know a little bit of experience um but it's been cool because it's important to me because i think our like my one of my goals is to like be able to show people like no like marriage is important you know like it's a partnership in life like yeah you know i'm not we're just we know one needs to date around and go date it's like you're giving yeah. soul ties to like other people that like really aren't gonna have anything to do with your future you know? obviously to me like marriage is very important to me but i'm also not like in a rush to get married because mm -hmm. i really just want to be in love with somebody like this is why but i 
I'm not dating. I'm literally not even dating. But, like, I don't think I'm dating to just date. Like, when people say that, I'm like, how can you guys, like, if I go on a date with somebody, it's literally because I'm like, I see a potential in the future mm -hmm. with this person. Like, I don't get on people like, I'm just gonna go on a date because I'm bored. Eh. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like my emotions are always put first. Like, I clearly like you if I give you the time of day. Like, mm -hmm. there's... There's no way. I'm just so emotionally attached yeah. like that. I would get so hurt. And I have noticed too, like people who grew up in like a little bit harder childhoods, like struggle with that. Like they do date to date, you know, they don't really care. There's some feelings attached because a lot of people like that, like have detached from their emotions and trying to heal from their childhood mm -hmm. that they just detach from everything else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're just kind of like, oh, there's... Like, I don't even have feelings involved here yeah. because they're just so, like, not aware of, like... No, people will emotion. literally be like, how can you ask if, like, somebody wants kids, if somebody wants to get married before you guys have even gone on a date? I'm not gonna waste my time. Exactly. Giving somebody, like, going out with somebody, trying to catch feelings, and then they don't mm -hmm. want to get married. They're just dating because they're bored. Like, yeah. you know, I'd rather ask these questions, look like a clown or a weirdo, but, like, at the end of the day, I'm gonna get what I want. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. yeah. To you, marriage is a deal breaker. To me, marriage is a, is a huge deal breaker. Um... Not a lot of people know this, actually. I don't even think my family really knows this, but I... Let <laughs> me get some tea right Yeah. Now. I kind of was going through this weird phase. Yeah. Different things like that that I never really have been, you know, like, really cared for ever, you know, because it's just not really what I believed in. And so I started going through that, and I started, like, kind of, like, reading weird stuff. And, just, and I was talking to this person and he i knew it was nothing but like i knew that he didn't want marriage i knew that he didn't want that you know but for me it was like i lost myself so much to the point where like i didn't care i was like oh whatever giving you some yeah which attention. was really really sad and yeah. like when i realized that i was like well like i really lost myself and didn't care that this person didn't want anything that i actually wanted you know and i was just kind of catering to like what he wanted you know it made me realize like how much i'm like no like i need yeah. to have someone and i think also just even more of a deal breaker now seeing like how well ko and i work together you know it's like that's someone that i want to like be with and like be on the same team with forever yeah. you know what i mean ko were to tell me like yeah i'm not planning on getting married which it's funny because he did and then when we started like actually hanging out he like changed his mind so that was nice. if i were vanessa hudgens i don't know if i would wait 10 years like I if you wanted to get married long. like i would not wait 10 years like i'm yeah, sorry like no even like people now are like oh my gosh you guys got like engaged so early you've only been dating for two years it's like what's wrong with that yeah we'll just think like oh like and for me it's like Ko and I are not living together before we get married. We're not yeah. sleeping together before we get married. And those are things that, like, we put up for each other, you know? We did that out of respect for each other. People are like, oh, you should move in together before you get married. And we've traveled before. Like, we've gone... Yeah, you know, my thing's that I've always said travel with somebody. Yeah. Oh, Just that... Get, but, like, true colors come out yeah, when you travel. Yeah, true colors come out when you travel. Like, yeah. even when I've, like... It, when we've gone camping a couple times, you have somebody you've gone... We've gone on, like, different road trips and stuff like that. True colors definitely come out, and I know I can be a huge B sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like, boy, but you can put up with me now. You're gonna put up with me for now. Yeah, seriously. Um, I feel like there's different values. I feel like I'm very old school in that aspect too. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think I would move in with them because it's almost like since marriage is so important. Like you moving in with somebody, they're like, I'm never gonna ask. Like yeah. she already lived. We already lived together. This is fine. Yeah. Which once again, if exactly. this is your no, journey, that that's yeah. awesome for you guys. But like. I don't think I could do that. I would go stay there, especially if it's like a long distance thing, but yeah. I don't think I could just like move in with yeah. somebody. But marriage is a deal breaker for me. It's not for everyone, I get that, but I just feel like I would personally be like, this person doesn't love me. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. No, yeah, I would think the same thing. It's a, like, oh, it's like a you're trying to off. trap them, right? Yeah, now, you're trying to, yeah, it's a turn off for them because they're like, yeah. oh, all, all she wants to do is commit. And it's like, okay, I'm sorry. Let's find out those conversations. Like, my friends will, like, make fun of me if I'm like, but I want to get married. They're like, mm, don't scare them away yet. But it's like, if it's the right yeah. person, they're not going to think it's a weird conversation. You're not like, marry me. You're yeah. just asking a And question. I think, too, at a certain age, like, I'm not saying you're, like, super old, but, like, at a certain age, it's like, <laughs> she's you like, know, you know, because you're like, <laughs> I'm like, come on, let's go. No, but, like, I feel like once you are at a certain age, you know, anyone past even, like, 25 is, like, mm -hmm. okay, you know, if they're single, like, um, like, when is, like, this part of my life going to start, you know, especially if it's someone who wants it, mm -hmm. because I feel like you get to a point where you're, like, okay, come on, like, mm -hmm. people are so easily offended, it's, like, there's nothing wrong with you coming forward and saying, like, what you want and yeah. it's like hey if that if that's not what you want fine cool like not because i knew i was like i'm just gonna waste my time 
if I don't say what I want. And like that's okay because I and I knew like not everyone's going to want what I want and I was like okay I rather not waste my time on people and it, you know it doesn't have to be like the first day that you're like you're like don't also scare yeah. them on the first no, day yeah. <laughs> but like it could be something like hey this is something that you know I've always kind of wanted for my life like what's your view on that what's your take yeah. on that just kind of like having that you know in like a nicer way of not being like I want kids I want to be married do you you know yeah. having kids was such a big deal to me but then as I got like older I was like there's so many things I want to do first yeah. like if they if I if I get them cool if I get them I'm gonna go buy them at a store if I have can them, I return I these? Can I return? they didn't work out um, but like I'm at a point where I'm like if it happens it happens it's not something that's like a priority for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody could literally, like what we were talking about earlier, like somebody could say they don't want kids till they find that right person that they want. Yeah, kids and for. everything changes. And a guy always knows if he's gonna want to marry a girl and vice versa. I just yeah. feel like girls are more like, like a guy will string a girl along whether yeah. he doesn't want to marry her, as in girls, if like you know you don't want to marry that guy, you're not gonna string him along, you're literally gonna break up with him. Yeah. It sucks because you don't want to come off like crazy and psycho and like, oh my gosh, like, you know, this is what I want, blah, blah, blah. But like, I think it is okay and I think it should be more like normalize that you know you are honest with what you want so that you're not wasting someone else's time you know what i mean the worst part is when you like are talking to them and you know that you like know you know that you shouldn't be doing this yeah. but because it's like that one form of like affection or whatever mm -hmm. you're getting like i know this is gonna be nothing why am i even like mm -hmm. giving this a time of day or effort and wasting my time in this and possible heartbreak we're doing our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, not the music in my room. Wanna pop in? Talking about dating, I was saying how, like, if I'm dating, like, I could not date multiple people at once. Like, if I'm talking to somebody, I'm talking to just you, and I don't care. Like, yeah. I feel like everyone around me, like, why? Like, I don't have know, a roster. I don't know. No, I don't I'm know. like, why? Do and keep up. I think, like, I'm not gonna name names, but, like, <laughs> you don't name names. <laughs> Oh yeah, like I'm dating this person, and I'm also talking to this person, but I'm not gonna hang out with them tonight. I'm gonna hang out with this other person. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, so I can't, I'm one. We talked about like just being sentimentally like attached to people, but like even the aspect of like respecting somebody, being like, this is who I'm talking to right now. Da -da, my brain does not work that way because I said this multiple times. Like you can tell me your dad's name is this. The other guy's gonna tell me this. I'm gonna mistake things. Like yeah. that's also why I feel like the whole like when people stalk people and like find stuff out before like yeah that's a scary game because what if you mention something you weren't supposed to know yeah and i feel like my brain does not work this is Jaden, by the way hey, hey. Mm. say something <laughs> what are your thoughts on dating my thoughts on dating hmm. i mean i would agree with what you guys are saying like i can't i would never be able to talk to multiple people at once i feel like just out of respect for the other person too it's also draining how do you keep up with that but if you because it's not if you wrong text one person but and then you accidentally text the other right <laughs> i'm not gonna lie there's been some times where i'm like was this a message for me like what is happening here you just graduated oh yeah how does that feel the little bug. feels good or we still have to go back to school so Cause like I'm not really done. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I can't not with school right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's just way too much. And I feel like, like I did recently stop talking to someone, but I just felt like if I had that on top of school, I wouldn't give them like the time that like they're supposed to. That they like deserve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're too much. They are. I, I have like, a yeah. I have a man out there that's half man half woman when it comes to his needs <laughs> so like men are too much meanwhile outside like building a canopy <laughs> with your dad like who doesn't want that he's just dramatic sometimes yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have some competition when you bring somebody around i know i was telling you i saw i put these tiktoks of like the it's like oh the, the new guy the new when guy comes into the like, family. who are you it's like i'm, I'm him. Him. <laughs> I'm the owner of this house. <laughs> you guys have to make that one day. I, I really, like, every time um, that I see that, I always send it to Ko. I'm like, this is going to be you. It's so that funny. so funny. I'm the owner of this house. I would be him. <laughs> Mom would be like, uh-uh. She'd be like, you ain't that one or nothing. <laughs> but I just, see, that's another thing. Like, I feel like when people date and stuff, like, I want somebody who's respectful, like somebody that I know I could take home to mom and dad. Mm -hmm. I've never introduced a guy to my parents. Some of them have tried to introduce themselves. I think I've definitely made the mistake of that because I brought someone around one time and it was like the most embarrassing thing of my life. And my brother still like gives me a hard time about it and still makes fun of me for it. A lot of people do. Listen, we've all forgotten. You know, yeah. we love Koa. It's <laughs> funny to me because I like get embarrassed about it. I'm like, what was You're I doing? You're also so young. It wasn't that long ago. Really? Oh, yeah. Wait. It yeah, was like, not that long ago. it was like five months before Koa. Oh, so it's not who I was even. Or even it's like a decade ago. 
I know. <laughs> uh, wrong person. Never mind. I don't even like this person. Why did I even do that? But yeah. it's so funny. And I remember telling her, I'm like, this girl, who is this man? Like, <laughs> I knew if I brought someone around like that, my sister would be annoyed with him. Yeah. So like, oh. She's like, yeah. man in my house. But yeah. it's, it's also funny to me because it was kind of funny. Like, the situation <laughs> was funny. Like, I just, I thought I hadn't been down here since COVID, but clearly I was if I met Co already. Yeah, because we went to Disneyland 2021, remember? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's where it was. Disney. There it's actually go. funny because the, the Polaroids you took of us drinking the milkshake, we have two of those, and one of them's in his car by the speedometer mm. thing, and the other one's in mine. One thing. So we yeah. both have the same picture in there. So and then your dad has a picture that I took of them on his phone as his wallpaper. Oh, like, yeah. I love when people use the pictures that Wait, I which take. one was that one? Outside of the, the pumpkin for Disney, that trip. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. We're going to make drink. Are you going to try them? Extra tequila. Haley always <laughs> makes me try them. You're Even the if I don't influence? want to. Yeah, huh? You're the bad influence? Without yeah, alcohol? It's yeah, it's She'll be like, do you want to try it? I'm mean, like, eh, she'll be like, try it. Like, I don't think like, it'd be so much fun to live But I like your parents are like, eh, they'll be fine. I, yeah, you think of crazy stories about me. I feel like I... There was a time when I went to go hang out with my friends and I came back soaked from the beach with my clothes on and Haley thought I was drunk. <laughs> your dad? Or Wait, Haley? I don't remember Haley. that. Haley. Yeah, and she said I was going to get in trouble while my mom if I was drunk. And I was like, I literally wasn't drinking. What? Like, do a breathalyzer. I had no idea. Yeah, right? Okay, let's like, all get oh in the gosh. ocean tonight. Full clothes. I'm down. Maybe we'll turn on the camera a little later. No, yeah, we can't. Because we're going to be cold. Yeah, we're just going to add it all in. We're going to bring yeah, someone the who has a lot of energy. Yes. And he's literally golden retriever he energy is. for sure. Yeah, he is. He's someone loud. Else. Yeah, he's loud, but he's funny. What do you think of your soon-to-be brother-in-law? I like him. Sometimes a little bit too much. <laughs> but sometimes they're both too much on their own way, so I'm kind of used to it. But you love him. Yeah. She's like, I'm not going to admit it in the vlog. I love you too, and you guys are both crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That doesn't take away the craziness. Yeah. <laughs>